Guys, Dan Hendrickson here. We're at West Cornwall Golf Club today and we've been out on the golf course with Lee and Lee's been back on the channel. He's been very, very busy, but I thought we'd have a little catch up with Lee, have a little look at what's in his golf bag for the 2021 season. I'm sure it's due to change at some point, but let's have a little look at what clubs he's been using for this round. But no, the flag behind you looks oh, absolutely man. stunning. Clearly meant me. Just flapping away in the wind. It's a bit no. awkward. You were flapping away on the wind today, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> right, little what's in the bag for everybody? Part Has one anything of twelve. Well, last year we managed to get to part twelve, I think, as a what's in the bag, because yeah. you're not afraid of changing and moving no. things around, are you? <laughs> so what about we do a little what's in the bag for 2021? Okay. Certainly the start of the season. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And um, and then maybe we'll move into part two at some there, stage. There'll be sure, a part two. I'm sure there will. <laughs> Tell me about two. So tell me, what are we using when now that we're at West Cornwall Golf Club? Uh, so wedge-wise, we'll wedges, start wedges. So I've yes. gone from three to two wedges this year. Okay. So I've gone from 50, 55, 60, yep. and I've gone 52, 58. Okay. Um, main reason for that is I wanted last season it was a choice of hybrid or two iron. Yeah. Um, this year I want to carry both, so I've reduced the wedges. I've got um, a Zipcore 58. Yeah. And then I've got an SM8 52. Okay. Any um, reason why you go Cleveland to Titus? There's a valid reason. Go on then. Because they're both demos. <laughs> it's just literally, have we got a bag of demos? Is that all we've got? <laughs> Not far What off. shafts have you got in? Have you, have you fitted them all into you? Or no, what? no. It's no. the, uh, the dynamic wedge. spinner wedge and, the, um, and then the wedge for the Vokey as well. Okay. Just the normal shafts for the time being. Right. But um, you've got the gapping right for those. Yeah. So there's a and 20 suppose... yard gap between... Two. Those two and the pitching wedge. So there's 40 yards between three clubs, which works perfectly for me. Right, okay. And then you move into a pitching wedge yep, in the so set. Then I've got irons. They've not changed. Yep. They're staying the same. Uh, the Apex Pros. Okay, are you going to keep those this year? or you? No. No, okay. no, no, I'm not now. Okay. Any um, reason for the changing those? Because they're a beautiful set of irons and you really enjoy playing with them. I do still enjoy playing with them, but I had a conversation with you and I... I want to challenge myself this year to be a better ball striker. Right. Um, and I think going into blades for a 12 month period may, it may, it's going to punish me if I get it wrong, but okay. it's going to reward me if I get it right. So I'm going to go into Z Forge, Strixon, seven to, six to pitching wedge, and then ZX5, four and five at some point this year. But at the moment? But at the moment, we're still using the Apex Pro. And what shaft have you got in there? Uh, we've got the Project X 6.5 PXI, which I've absolutely loved playing for the last time. And you months. went into those because we were trying to get your ball flight just down. a little bit down. And we've gone to what, from one extreme to another. And we've got to work on that, have we? Yeah, we've gone from probably a 23, 24 degree launch with a seven iron down yeah. to about 14 or 15. So we've massively, I've gone too far. So like my 30, seven, you were in the thirties. Yeah, I was in the thirties when I first started seeing you, but I'm now in the sort of mid-teens. Gee, um, right. So I'm hitting we a seven. We need a nine, major overhaul. Yeah, then. I'm hitting seven iron, two hundred yards. Okay. Now. Like it's just. <laughs> so it, you're actually not in a seven iron. You're in a three iron. Oh well, yeah, it's just gone a little <laughs> bit too far the other way now. So that goes from pitching wedge to right the way iron. up to four iron. Four iron. Yeah. And then uh, we've got the two iron. So this is still the same. Hasn't changed. That's the Swixen ZU85. You're not going to change that, are no, you? That's no. your bombing. Yeah, this I mean, is... you were bombing that past Leicester earlier today, I saw. Yeah, this oh. is... Uh... <laughs> oh, look, he's just turned up from nowhere. That. You must have snuck up behind me there, you did. I did, I did thin it. You don't normally, <laughs> <laughs> you don't normally complain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did thin it, Leicester, to be fair. Well. Now, even um, if I change every iron in the bag, this, there's no point in changing this. No. This, is, uh, this is my go-to. You go found something you've kind of... like. It's a bit like my five wood. You've kind of found something you want to stick with. Yeah, absolutely. Especially like a Lynx course like we've had around West Cornwall. It's yeah. just that little fairway finder, really. Shaft in that? Uh, X100. Okay. Again, so I, just feel? Um, yeah, I didn't want a graphite shaft in an iron. Yeah. Um, and I like a heavy shaft, so I went for the X100 instead okay. of having like the hazardous in there. I don't like we graphite We haven't talked about it, but the grip on that and the grip on the others? Uh, they're just all mid-size golf All grips. mid-size? Yeah, so you've yeah. got big hands, have you? Or Massive What hands. size glove, glove do you use? Large. Large. Okay. Yeah. You know what they say about big hands, Dan? Big, big feet big and big gloves. gloves. Absolutely right. Okay, and then we've got oh, these are snazzy these are new head covers. Yeah, they're nice, haven't they? What are they? 
Oh, it's just a little bit of personalization, Dan. Yeah, I like that. Got your little logo on yeah, there. Yeah. Very nice. So what have you got under them? So the first one under here is the hybrid. Okay. Uh, and we've gone for, it's obviously got a bit of green matting on, but we've gone for the Cleveland Halo. Yeah, okay. Um, I've done a lot of testing and this has just been the easiest one I've found to hit. So I've put this one in the bag as well. Okay. Shaft in this is uh, just the S-Flex counterbalanced Miyazaki. Yeah. Because it's a demo. Another demo. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, That's, does that come anywhere near your two iron on occasion? Uh, so the, this is 235, yeah. uh, the two iron's about 245, so the two <laughs> iron is above it, um, which is quite handy. That's quite impressive. <laughs> That's 245 is just a little bit weaker than my uh, driver. Okay, then what's under the next head cover? So the next head cover is uh, the fairway wood, Yeah. and it's TSI 2. Oh, get on, right, moving into tightness now. Yeah. But this is a four wood, not oh, a three wood. Oh, 16 and a half degree yeah. one. 16 and a half degree, A1 setting. Yeah. Um, the Hazardous Smoke RDX uh, 70 gram 6.5. Okay. I have did some testing with this and I've gone to four wood because I find this easier to hit off the ground. Yeah. I've always struggled a little bit with three woods off the deck, so I did quite a lot of testing and I actually found that this is carrying 265, which is just as far as a, a three wood would. Um, but I find it happy to hit it off the ground, so that's why this has gone in. And with it being TSI 2, it gives me a bit more forgiveness than the 3 does. Definitely, a bit lower, a bit higher spin. Yeah, um, I've just found it a great club, it, yeah. absolutely. I, I've lovely. replicated what I did at Bearwood Lakes recently by stiffing it for an eagle as well, so it's... Oh, I can't think this is going to stay in the bag, this will stay in the bag for a while. Just throwing that one out there, I've forgotten about Bearwood Lakes. To yeah, be I think not. Leicester and Nia definitely forgotten about <laughs> And then driver, uh, big change. But uh, what's that? Oh, Cleveland. Yes. Get on. So, uh, yeah. What have you done here now? You've been, you, you've taken on board some of our chat, haven't you? Yes. Um, the the Sub Zero was a fantastic club, one shot out of ten. So that was your old one, the Callaway yeah, Sub Zero Maverick. Maverick. Yeah, it was the Maverick. Yeah. You know, when we were doing a fifty nine or something, that one bomb would come out and it would just be a wonder club. But for everyday golf. I had no control over it, so I've... And it didn't work because we've never actually got the 59, so no, that so one club, one yeah, shot yeah. didn't really My one us. purpose in life on a 59 <laughs> has failed. <laughs> so we tested this on your channel, yeah, um, and I really liked it, Lester really liked it, and I, I just found myself gravitating towards it because it's sort of... Some, the, it, the, the right side is still there sometimes, but the predominant side now is a left miss. Okay. So it's really You've straight. You've eliminated one side of the course, really, yeah. is what you're trying to do. Uh, nine degree, and it's the Miyazaki stiff flex shaft in it. Yeah, I, I like it. I think these drivers should do really well. Yeah, you know. a bit loud, but I can look over that. It's um, I've put this up against other things this year, and the only thing that's come close to it is the Ping SF Tech. Okay. So this is this this will probably stay in the bag for a while. Yeah, I like the choice of that. I think that's a good idea. Right, a bit putter. more sensible instead of stupid this year. Putter then? Putter's not changed. Um, so it's nice little head cover. Yeah, it's navy. So it's still the the sink bladed putter. Yeah. Um, I felt no need to change that whatsoever with the little you hummus to Leicester well. you full time well. on it. Yeah, you do put well there. So okay. yeah, I've, there's been no real need to change this. It's I put well with it, especially within six feet normally. So. Um, yeah, this has stayed in the bag and probably will stay in the bag this year as is well. Is that the original grip that you've got on there? Yeah, just that... a lambkin pistol grip, yeah. Okay, nice. So yeah, that's that's the, that's the bag this and year. what about the golf ball this year? Are you using anything different? Or uh, are you... For the time being, mm. I'm just still using the Strix and Z-Star, but depending on the club choice, I may move to the XV to get for that extra spin. Okay. So I might move to the Strix and XV rather than the, the normal Z-Star, just because I want that extra spin and that ball will give me it. Uh, but that's going to require testing a little bit when the new irons come. Lovely. And the shaft in the new irons will change as well to a little bit less heavy. Well, that more, might be that might be my, m part two. Yeah, that well, it might be the part what's three. in the bag. It could be a part two then. A, part yeah, three. could be part three. <laughs> So there you go, there's a little what's in the bag with Lee. Always good to catch up with Lee. Always good to see what's going on in his golf bag. Lee is a tinkerer. We'll probably do another one of these at some point, but that is what is in his golf bag right now. Don't forget, if you are new to the channel and you like what you're seeing from these videos, please hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up. But for now, we're gonna finish off our round here at the beautiful West Cornwall.